children, welcome to today's lesson. Today, we will be learning about ratio of family size and resources. And at the end of this lesson, you should be able to find ratio of family sizes and resources. Also, correctly use ratio in related to portion of resources to family sizes. So kids, are you ready? Yay! Now let's get started. In our previous lessons on ratio, we learnt that ratio is a relationship between two numbers indicating how many times the first number contains the second. The ratio of a family size and its resources is the ratio of the total income with the number of people in the family. For example, if Mr. Jack's salary is 30,000 Naira and there are five people in his family, this means that the ratio of the family size to the resources is 5 to 30,000, which is also 1 to 6,000. This means if the family resources, which is 30,000 Naira, is shared equally among the family members, each person will get the sum of 6,000 Naira. Let's look at another example. If Mrs. Mahmood both earn a total of 50,000 Naira and the size of their family is 10, this means the ratio of their family size to resources is 10 to 50,000, which can further be simplified to 1 to 5,000. The examples we just discussed shows us how much each member will get if the resources are shared equally and this is inversely proportional to the resources. Remember, an inverse proportion means one value increases while the other value decreases. Let's look at what this means. First. Our earlier examples, Mr. Jack earns 30,000 and his family size is 5, while Mrs. Bermud earns 50,000 Naira with a family size of 10. This means if Mr. Jack's family size increases to 10, then the family size to the resources ratio would be 1 to 3,000. But if the family size is reduced to 3, the ratio would be 1 to 10,000. The same thing applies to Mrs. Mahmood. If her income increases, the ratio increases. But if her family size is increased or reduced, then the ratio would also be affected. Kids, I'm sure you had a great time learning. But we have finally come to the end of the lesson. Today, we learned how to find the ratio of family sizes and resources. Also, correctly use ratio in relation to portion of resources to family sizes. So kids, it's assessment time! <laughs> 